just so I can get the effects. Oh. <laughs> really liking these kind of like crop tops for working out. I feel like, I don't know. Look at that fucking tricep though. Shaky, shaky. I didn't actually get all of it in there. What the fuck? By the way, it's C4 ripped, one serving, and it's cherry lining. It's pretty good. All right. All right, just finished my leg workout. Oh my God, it was super amazing. Um, first day back with heavy legs. As you can see, I go to retro. Well, maybe you can't see, but anyway, yeah. So, just did some heavy legs, getting in the car right now, heading home, and I'll talk to you soon. Just got back from the gym. Oh, and got my nails done. I love this gray color. Like, sorry, I'm like super shaky because I just did buys and tries. Pretty much like all upper body. Back is getting kind of wide. About to eat some grub. Going to the buffet. Super excited. Anywho, um, I just wanted to kind of get into the topic of my last show that I did. Um, I did just upload the one day out from the Lehigh Championships or the Lehigh Valley Championships and Basically, I did not record, as you can tell, um, I didn't record any footage of my actual show day. Um, and I will explain why. So, the day before the show, so Friday when I did my check-ins and everything, I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling like... I don't know. I wasn't feeling it once I got to check-ins. I felt extremely amazing beforehand because I felt like my physique was really good. Um, I never had this much, much muscle in my entire life, but also kind of like lean as well. So it was just really awesome to feel like my physique was where I wanted it to be since like forever. So I was really, really confident. Um, when I got to check-ins, for some reason I just wasn't feeling it. Like I didn't feel confident. Um, I didn't feel strong anymore. I felt kind of like I was comparing myself a lot. And um, prior to the show, I was dealing with a lot of like, kind of like, I don't wanna say binge eating, but I would feel bad about what I ate. Like if I, if I cheated on something, like I would tell Peter, like right away, I'd be like, I had this. Cause I felt like I didn't wanna hide or sneak food because I felt like that was even worse um, to do something like that. And I didn't want to start to fall into, you know, any kind of disorder or body image issues. And I just started to see that I was feeling like that a lot more. And those feelings got so strong the day of the check-ins on Friday before the show. So once I was feeling all those feelings and feeling some type of way in a sense, um, I just didn't even want to compete the next day like that was the first time I didn't want to compete like last year I loved it um, this year like just the couple weeks prior to the Lehigh show I was so pumped so excited about my natural show and then this one just kind of hit me and I'm I know I haven't been in it that long compared to some other bikini competitors but for me like once I had that negative vibe like that negative like feeling about myself and like comparing myself and asking Peter like how do I look how do I look how do I look like every five seconds or like weighing myself or picking myself apart like looking at myself you know and just saying certain things that like I know wasn't even really true but I felt like it was true um and I felt like once I felt like that I just I sort of just kind of realized like maybe this isn't for me maybe this sport is you know, it's just not right for myself. Like maybe it was just a lot of emotion and a lot of stuff going on, I don't know. Um, but I did think about it and I did, you know, con you know, definitely make up my mind that I wasn't gonna compete, like ever. I said, I'm not gonna compete ever again. Like this is not, it's not healthy. I'm depriving myself of things that are considered healthy foods. This is not a lifestyle that I consider healthy for an everyday person. And I have to realize like, this is bodybuilding and this is not an average day person who is just losing weight or just trying to be fit or 
put on muscle and stay lean. Like this is a sport where you are depleting your body um, and getting rid of things, you know, that maybe are not necessarily things that you need to remove out of your diet. Um, but I, like there's so much I want to say, but like I feel like I'm trying to like get this all out so that it like makes sense. And I mean, maybe I'll make like more videos about this because I feel like so strongly about it. But the day of my show, I just, I was watching girls come off stage and like hysterically crying and, and, and saying like, oh my God, what about this? And oh, my arm wasn't, you know, so muscular or I, I wasn't, I don't know if I'm lean enough or, you know, just picking themselves apart. And I looked at them and I was like, this is nuts. Like, this is absolutely crazy. Like, is this really what this sport is about? Like, and I realized it was like looking in a mirror. Like th that was me. Like I was doing that to myself. I was picking myself apart. I was getting upset. And I looked at them like they were ridiculous, but that's, that was myself. And I realized that, you know, the competition world, maybe, maybe it was because I got my period and I was just not feeling it or I felt bloated and I was pissed off, but I was just so angry and so negative. And I, I just looked at the sport, like, why am I even doing this? And you know, I'm, I'm at the point now where I've, I've kind of like recuperated and just kind of thought about it a little bit more and had time to like reflect on my feelings. Um, and kind of be done with my period so I'm not like oh like angry about everything in the world but um I thought about it and I'm like you know maybe maybe I'll just stick to some natural shows or you know maybe I'll try it again but I'm gonna be in a different mindset and I'm gonna look at it like I'm just gonna be proud of myself but I realized that I think I just want to live my life like I love fitness I love to go to the gym like the days that I'm like even eating bad like today where I go and have like the buffet food like yeah that like okay so that's probably not like considered obviously healthy we all know that but to me it's like it's all about a balance that's what I've been trying to promote this whole time this is why I've been working towards you know building this sort of business in a sense that I want to reach out to women and I want to empower women I want women to feel strong about who they are and where they've come from and how they've grown and their journey and their fitness you know their fitness journey I don't want to give off the wrong impression or the wrong like image in a sense. I have always wanted women to feel so good about themselves and I started to feel like my confidence level was just getting drained. Like it was just going away and I've never been like that. I've always been confident. I always felt good about myself. Um, and now I just feel like I kind of lost a sense of me and I lost a sense of my life because as you know, if you're a competitor or if you dated a competitor or know a friend that is a competitor, like their lives revolve around this. Like this is your day in, day out. This is what you eat, sleep and breathe every freaking day of your life. I mean, you're counting your macros. You're, you're just so focused on this life that you don't realize anything else that's going on in the world. Like it is that difficult. So I just want to take a break from it. I'm not saying I'm never going to compete again, but that is basically the reason why I did not um, post a video or show any kind of vlog or footage or anything like that on it because I was, my emotions and my mood and like my whole mindset was all over the place. Like I've never felt that bad or like that down on myself in like ever, I think ever in my entire life. I never felt so insecure and and just thinking about my body in so many negative ways and you know I know I have muscle I know that I may be a little bit um like not as lean as some of the other girls but I felt so damn good like when I saw the muscles that I had and how I didn't lose them but stayed fairly lean like I was like oh like emoji like literally I was so happy I'm like this is what my journey was all about I set this goal so that last year I was like, I'm not going to go on stage looking like that because I felt like I looked way too lean and I did way too much cardio. And then this year I was like, okay, I'm going to build muscle, build muscle and just go at it. And, and I realized that I did that. And you know what? My goal was accomplished. So in the end, like I feel good about what I did. I feel good about where I'm at right now. I'm enjoying every single day that I work out, that I go to the gym, um, you know, and I'm still loving my life and my balance of eating unhealthy, but you know what, having my days where I'm, I'm tracking my macros too. So that's basically all I wanted to talk about. I know it was a really long ramble. 
but I just wanted to talk to you guys about that and let you know kind of how I was feeling and why I did what I did um, and why I didn't really post a whole lot on the show because I just felt very negative and it wasn't good it wasn't a good side of myself and I didn't want to like air that but I wanted to explain it in my YouTube channel so that if you do follow my Instagram you kind of can come to my channel and get a sense of a little bit more about me and how um, I'm feeling so that's it I'll talk to you guys in the next video